The following example takes a look at how to load an existing Visual Mod Flow project into VModFlex. Start by defining your project units and your coordinate system, and then choose a numerical modeling workflow. In the first screen, you see your objectives are going to define whether it's saturated or unsaturated flow, and then we're going to import an existing model, so we click on that button, and then we're going to choose the corresponding Visual Mod Flow.VMF project file. The import begins, and as it does this, you can see it adds data objects to the left side of the screen. Click the next button, it allows you to view the imported grid. Here's a look at the toolbars that are available, including zooming, pan, adjusting the vertical exaggeration. You'll see VMod Flex gives you flexible cross section and plan views on the screen at the same time. Next, we'll take a look at the properties that belong to this model. Again, you can span through different rows or columns, view the properties by zones, or in a database grid view showing the zone and the corresponding kx, ky, kz values. And again, the toolbox above the viewers allows you to change from different zonation, whether it be color shading, cells, and showing contours in either a plan or a cross-section view. You can also show a 3D view of the connectivity, and you can pan through a different layer row column, and as you do this, you'll see the 3D view updates simultaneously. The views are also uh, flexible, that you can move them and dock around to different positions, or show just a single plan view, a single 3D view, etc. Next we're going to take a look at the boundary conditions that belong to the model. The blue points represent river cells, and the single point in the middle represents a pumping well. And then next we're ready to translate and run the model, so we'll choose the engines we want to run. Here you have the ability to choose Modflow 2000, 2005, or other subsidiary engines. In this screen, we're translating the model input into the corresponding Modflow package files. And next, we go to the Run screen, where you choose the solver, run in steady state or transient. You can see the results at real time. After you do this, the corresponding heads and other output files are added to the tree in the bottom left corner. And then again, you can see the heads in the plan or cross-section view. You can easily zoom and pan. You have those same controls. The time controller there lets you change different time steps if you're dealing with a transient run. And the corresponding color shading or cell rendering at the bottom will refresh as you change for different output times. Similar to properties, you can show these as uh, color shading or contour lines. You can zoom in adjust different layers, and again, change the output times. The cell inspector at the bottom of the screen there allows you to mouse over different uh, grid cell locations, and you can see the XYZ and the head value at that location. The same also applies if you're looking at the input parameters, such as connectivity at a specific cell location. You can also see a 3D view of the heads along three planes, including a selected layer row column. And you can animate this, rotate it around, you can save this to an AVI file, whether it's the transient heads or a rotation that you've done. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, please visit www.vmodflex.com.